You guys, it's Nate. Welcome back to Film Film Studios. And today, we are on episode 5 of Boako Age Sentai, Byung Byung Very exciting episode. Last episode, we got teased that we're finally getting Byung Black in this episode. I'm very excited. Um, just a heads up, if my background looks a bit shit, I'm currently uh, back uh, at home, basically. Or at least at, like, at my parents' house. So, I'm doing this on the fly. But the best thing about this portable setup is that I can do these kind of reactions anyway. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, you don't really care about this, I understand. Uh, let's get straight into the reaction. He wants to be a Bunja. Yeah. See, I wondered if it was going to be a case of he gets gifted it or if he tries to specifically be it. Yeah, so I'll pause it just very quickly. So obviously last episode we discovered that uh, he's obviously a police officer and um, the, I think it was the International Space Agency are going to work together with the Bun Bunjas to help uh, defeat the Galactic Space Mafia or whatever they were. Um, and uh, Joe was the police officer in command that was going to be, well, not in command, but sort of, he was going to be the liaison between the Bun Bunjas and uh, the ISA. Oh, he's straight him, no. You're not good enough, you're a king. All serious, and then... Don't stop the boom boom, don't stop boom boom, don't stop the boom boom, don't stop boom boom, don't stop the boom boom. Don't stop the boom boom, don't stop boom boom, don't stop the boom boom. <laughs> the policeman won't be broken. Have they upgraded from the little, uh, back room? Looking base. Now just in a bar. I love how the villains are just livid that they haven't got like newspaper time. Dartboard monster? Yes. You know it makes sense. Like all the gasoline from the humans. Um, I wonder what his specific trait is. I imagine he's definitely gonna be throwing darts, but I wonder what they're gonna do. Maybe they just maybe they just hear it. Max. Crazy how they're just now looking at these whilst uh, he wants to be a Bimbunja. Is there history with this one? Who knows? Oh, look at him. He just wanted to be a Bimbunja. If only there was some way of knowing how this is going to turn out. Oh, bless him. He tried. He went into a monster fight with just a normal revolver. Take some guts. Were they just kidnapping a normal man? Oh, I imagine for gasoline. Oh, was he gonna have to use it? What is going on there? Such horror. Such torture. Fucking acupuncture. Is it just any sort of pain that extracts the gasoline? No, he wants it, man. He's gotta prove himself. That is a different level of fucked up, to be fair, that they've got to, like... they more or less pick their own fate by how good they are at darts. Go on, son. Oh, he showed in. To be fair, though, he did save her. Hey, yo, he's smacking him up. Hey, this is the thing, see, as well. That Power Rangers started lacking in the later seasons was civilian fighting. Yeah, man. Boon. Nice. It's the same change every every episode. Yeah, I'm still I still get gassed when it comes around. Oh, he's getting in their heads. Not quite like the Donny from Power Rangers Samurai, but you know. Your bike had training wheels until you were dead. Brother. <laughs> what a specific punishment. All oh, stormtroopers, man. Is he just gonna get pied? Oh, brother. Explosive pie. Of course. Why didn't I assume? Go on, son. Yeah, man. Let him go. Fair play. Oh, maybe not fair play. Brother. It's a bit extensive. 
quite brutal. I know it's not too graphic like, but the concept is uh, he's just strapped him in an electric chair then blew him up realistically. Queen energy. King energy. Legend. Um, I, I'm enthralled in this, I'll be honest. I think it's the first time I felt like there's actual stakes, which are obviously not going to be overcome because we're going to get you black. Supposedly. <laughs> but it's pretty sick. Don't jump in front of it and morph, and you'll, you're dead, surely. Oh, no, man, he didn't. But King, though. Brother. Brother. Brother's getting smacked up. All the time I've been saying I fucking think Bune Blue is sick. Nah, bro. This man's where it's at. King. Go on. Brother, what a... Genba. There we go. And I also noticed, so obviously, uh, Joe's getting a different changer. But that's the one Genba's been speaking with the entire time as well. Oh, a bit of a darker, deeper voice. Go on. That's sick. I've got chills up my arms. There he is. Yeah, man. And he looks sick as well. Wonder how much authority Genba had to give him the uh, the changer. I love the police shoulder pad as well. I'm still so confused by his existence. Why is he just part of the team but not actually part of the team? Don't stop the boom boom. Go on. And so Bune Black has joined the team. I wonder if his shoulder pad provides any special power. Like the tyres on their backs and stuff. I do really like the simplicity of Boom Black as well. And the gold stripe down his front as well. I wonder if there'll be any link with SPD slash Decker Ranger um, throughout the show with Boom Black as a police officer. Because I believe as well, love to see it, um, isn't the Decker Ranger 20 year anniversary this year? Oh, his weapon changes as well. Yeah, man. Single-handedly. Nice. And of course, it wouldn't be an episode of Bune Bunja without a little lovable Hot Wheels racer sucking up all the uh, gasoline. And now we get to see the police car's old mech. Nice. The flashing of the shoulder pad, I like it. Virtual trap. Oh shit, there's loads of them. That's pretty sick. Nice. Oh shit, they just become like trail spikes. Nice. I oh, got nighttime real quick, didn't I? Love a good nighttime Zol battle, though. Don't worry about it. Nice. Is he going to become just a weapon or is he an actual part? Guns, maybe? Or just extensions? Oh, I think it's the first time as well we've seen um, the Bune Bune just sat in cockpits together, not just like in their own separate little box windows. The fact that um, Blue and Pink are like sat together in a massive cockpit. Okay, so they're guns and shoulder pads. Okay. I like it. I wonder if the shoulder pads will actually be proven any eff way effective though. Pwah, Fez. Nice. Cute. And here comes Bune Bune. What are the odds that for the finale of this show I do a carry party? <laughs> All right, next week, what we got? Ooh, looks like a sick looking monster. Back works it white and black. Hmm. Oh. 
Dun, 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 dun. Looks fun. So that was episode five of Black Wag. I said I Bune Bunjin. Now Bune Black. Joe himself. Oh, that was a cool intro for a for a character, for a ranger no less. Wanted to be a Bune Bunja. Says no. Obviously, there's gonna be that big story arc and there's gonna be that big overcoming of you know the, the danger and everything. But man was almost killed and he kept going. And then Genba shows out, out of nowhere and tosses him a case that has not only been black uh Bean black sword but the changer as well why does Gemba have it why why i still don't understand what involvement he has and why he's so suspicious and why you know why why is he about to become Bean orange but right now he's just kind of working with him it's, i don't know but it was a cool episode um potentially my favorite episode so far i think that was um they probably had the most stakes and also just had the coolest like visuals in it um so yeah what did you think of uh, episode 5 of Bune Bunja? Let me know in the comments down below. This, is, this video is not a substitute to watching it. Go watch it yourself. And yeah, I'm very excited to see what's uh, to come. Question for you in the comments. When do you think Bune Orange is going to show up? What episode? Let me know down below. And I'll see you next week for episode 6 of Bune Bunja. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you soon.